Hello all, uh, we will continue the explanation of super heterodyne receiver. So in this video we will see the drawback of super heterodyne receiver. So I present you with two cases, case 1 and case 2. So we have two signals, the first one is a uh, yellow signal that is of 1560 kHz. And the second one is of red one, which is of 1440 kilohertz. So each of these signals has message embedded in it. So the first signal will consist of message hello earth, and the second one signal will consist of message hello Mars. So we have our receiving structure that is super heterodyne receiver located at some place. So what happens, both of this signal travel in the air and this antenna will pick both of these signals. So what happens is, say this 1560 kilohertz will travel, both will travel at the same time. So this antenna will pick these signals. And then we have the usual plot diagram. Say first we send it to power amplifier, I mean RF amplifier, and then we send it to mixer, and then IF, and then audio amplifier, then demodulator, and all that, and then finally we get a message at the loudspeaker. So let me make a loudspeaker here. This is my loudspeaker. So, a person is sitting here listening to the radio. He is the same person. So, let me make this the same person. We have only one radio at home. So, we cannot have things. So there is a person sitting, he is listening to the radio. So what happens, first this 1560 kHz, it will enter the mixer and it will, we have a local oscillator set to 1500 kHz. So both of this will mix and uh, they will leave 60 kHz signal. So this is sent to IF amplifier and then we get a message signal on 60 kilohertz. At the same time, what happens? This 1440 kilohertz also will travel to the antenna, then RF amplifier, then it will mix here. So what happens? This is a weird case. 1440 kilohertz and then 1500. So we get 1500 minus 1440 as 60 kilohertz. So what happens, we have got two frequencies which has one message has hello earth and second message and the signal has hello Mars. Both are at same frequency. So since two messages which are of same frequency mix with each other, it will lead to interference. It's like, say, you are walking on a road. If you didn't have this 1440 kHz, say, if you had any other frequency, say 1450, then this signal would be totally different. Means, it would be of, there would be no interference. You would walk straight away. But what happened here is, you have two signals, which are of same frequency. Means, Say there are two persons walking on the same path, same way, no difference. So this will, means these two will collide and this will aid disturbance. So a person hearing, finally it will get to all those things, what will happen? So this 60 kilohertz in the top block diagram, what it will do? It will have hello earth as a message. So this will get demodulated 
and when you go to loudspeaker as hello earth at the same time you get hello mars so both of this will get mixed so this will lead to disturbance so at the end user what it will do he will not hear the proper message he will not hear hello earth and hello mars he will hear something like hello hello mars something something that way okay so this is not desirable at all so this is a typical case it will not happen if it were 1450 kilohertz for example so this unwanted frequency which is creating this interference is called as image frequency so this is the image frequency in our case because 1560 is the desired frequency so i will tell you how to calculate image frequency now so let's see how to calculate the uh, image frequency so the formula is simple this is f image frequency so this is equal to f plus Two times I F. If the local oscillator is greater than station frequency, otherwise the image frequency is F minus two I F. If local oscillator frequency is less than station frequency, so in our case, what happened? F was fifteen sixty. Kilohertz and F L O was fifteen hundred kilohertz. So you can see two cases here. Since our local oscillator frequency is less than station frequency, the image frequency will be F image is equal to fifteen sixty minus two times intermediate frequency, which is the difference between these two signals. So that is uh, 1560 minus 1500. This will become 1560 minus twice 60. So that will become 1440 kilohertz. Okay. So this is the image frequency. This is the unwanted signal. So what will happen if this frequency and this frequency uh, are sent at the same time? It will lead to interference, and then there will be disturbance at the end of the, like at the loudspeaker. So this is the loudspeaker. Here it will be disturbance. So many people ask me, like uh, in my class, uh, how my students ask me just today, like uh, what happens if it were fourteen thirty kilohertz? What would happen then? So I will tell you that just now. So many students ask me today, as uh, sir, you told that. There are two signals, say, fifteen uh, sixty kilohertz, and then there is image frequency of fourteen forty kilohertz. Uh, if both are transmitted at the same time, then there will be interference at the superheterodyne at the receiver side. So then there will be a disturbance at the end user for the end user. So. Uh, what happens if it uh, were not image frequency but little less than the image frequency, and then at that time why interference will not occur? So that is a good question actually. Uh, as you can see, this 1560 kilohertz which I had taken as an example, first we mix with low local oscillator to give image frequency 60 kilohertz. What happens in this radio system is the radio receiver will have IF amplifier whose characteristics is 
in this manner that is it will only amplify the 60 hertz signal and it will reject all other frequencies so that at any given point of time you hear only one station that is if there is a Lata Mangeshkar uh, singing from one station say Delhi station you hear only Lata Mangeshkar songs on your radio so if uh, Lata Mangeshkar song is sent in 50-60 kilohertz and then uh, I don't know anybody's name the Honey Singh song is sent at 14-40 kilohertz both the songs will get mixed and you will hear rubbish at the radio at your radio if you tune in the radio you will hear nothing because both Honey Singh and Lata Mangeshkar songs will get mixed so don't blame me for this uh, comparison uh, sorry for that so if it were 14-30 kilohertz suppose so what would happen this 14-30 kilohertz would go, uh, mix with local oscillator to give 70 kilohertz so since you are already tuned into one station you will continue hearing so you will continue hearing Lata Mangeshkar songs Mangeshkar songs and then this is the uh, Honey Singh's Honey Singh songs will be at 70 kilohertz so it will come somewhere here and it will be rejected by the IF amplifier and it will not reach the your radio so you can hear uh, Lata Mangeshkar video I mean audio uh, uh, till whatever time you like so if you want to hear Honey Singh's uh, audio then what you need to do you need to tune in your uh, what is that radio at that time what will become your IF amplifier will amplify 70 kilohertz at that time at that time it will reject the Lata Mangeshkar songs then you will hear Honey Singh's songs ok so that's how wonderful radio is uh, so this all things goes in the background uh, which you are not aware hopefully we will try to debug more into the subject of radio and thanks for watching uh, please subscribe our channel